MetLife Stadium, the newest stadium in the league, is the site for this Week 8 divisional matchup between the Miami Dolphins and the New York Jets. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Phil Sims and partner. It's a very simple formula here. Backs against the wall. A win is a must at this point. How about it? Well, I think you said it right. A win is a must. So what do we do? What do we have here? We have a playoff game. That's exciting. You're, you're nervous. You're, the energy is high. And I say this to the players. Don't be afraid of making mistakes. Play hard. It is a game of adversity. You will have mistakes. It's how you react to them, which could be the difference in it. So play hard and see what happens. They're in the same division. They've met already once. And for the team that lost that last matchup, how much do they want this one? Oh, well, first off, it's hard to dominate a team twice during the NFL season, especially when you're in the same division. You spend your offseason getting ready for your what? Your division opponents. So they're going to have some different answers for the team today. And I expect it to be very close, very competitive. Kickoff is about to commence. Let's send it down to the field. The Dolphins are back deep, waiting for the kick return. He's a dangerous returner, and he'll have a chance to show you right here. And now we've got what you'd call the wily veteran at quarterback about to head onto the field for the first time today. Yeah, when you're a quarterback like this and, and you've had success, you go out in the field, you can't wait for the game to start because you veterans think only good things are going to happen to them. So they're confident and ready to go. Out of the gun. Working that left side. Thrown incomplete. Here's the group that perhaps has the game's biggest assignment, the offensive line. Press coverage all the way. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. The handoff to Reggie Bush. That tackle was made at the 27-yard line. A guy that influences so many plays on this defense, Darrell Rivas. Watch out for him. Not many guys that you can say, hey, Darrell, go out and cover him. And it's just you two, one-on-one, -on -one, all over the field. He can do that. He is special and the best defensive back in the NFL right now. Third down and eight. The throw to the left. He is tackled at the 40-yard line. Confidence, it's an unbelievable thing, isn't it? When you get that first first down in the game, it gives you a little confidence, but maybe most importantly, it gives your coach confidence. First and 10, and the give to Reggie Bush. Taking off, and he's knocked out of bounds. Rhythm, you hear it so often in sports, and it is true, especially on the offensive side. That's another first down by the offense. They got some rhythm, and these kind of these kind of drives usually lead to score. A tackle behind the line. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. Staying on the ground, and he's going to be tackled right around the 43. You've got to keep your offensive lineman aggressive, so you have to run the football every once in a while. That run, even though it was a short game, it served a purpose. The corners are going to meet the receivers right on the line of scrimmage. Third and 12. And he's thrown to the ground. Outside linebackers who can get to the quarterback, they are a rare breed in the NFL because it takes talent, size, speed, everything to do it as a linebacker. And we saw it that time on display. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. Out of USC, number six, quarterback Mark Sanchez. Mark Sanchez, an excellent play-action quarterback, has the strength of arm and, and also mobile, able to get out of trouble. This guy can get it done if you give him the chance. And 
with this starting unit as usual. The attention goes to the wide receivers who so often open up the game. Second and eight. Here's the quick toss to the running back. Going to lose yards here. Here are the starters today on defense. Offense lines up here. Snap back to the quarterback. Out of the gun. Sanchez. Interception. Breaks out of that one. Get on the stop. Good job by the defensive back. Reading the wide receiver. Makes the break at the perfect time and gets the interception. Playing press coverage to the outside. They bring in the extra tight end. Jim, look at that. The defensive line now shifting to the right. The defense gets a sack. It is truly a bonus when you can take your outside linebacker and let him rush the quarterback and he can get a sack. Nice job that time by the outside linebacker. Well, they got to the quarterback on first down. Sets up second and long. Tosses it to the running back. Brought down right at the 50. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. Third and 12 to go. And he's taken down. Nice job that time with the outside linebacker getting the sack. They ask a lot of these guys now. They are special players in the NFL. Stopping the run and the speed to get outside and get the sacks on the quarterback, too. They'll take it at the 20. First down here. Hand off. Trying to find an open to the right. That's a gain of eight. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. Running away from the pressure, the quarterback throws to the right. Really good job that time by the quarterback. Nice. Get out of the pocket. Find some extra time to throw it. But look at the receivers. Well, look at the defenders all over the receivers down the field. There was nowhere to throw it. The offense needs two yards here on third down following the incompletion. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. Good job to know the situation on the offensive side. Third and short. Don't look for a big run. Just get enough to get a first down and get those chains moving. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap, and they hold that run to a short game. Second and nine. Gets away from the heat. Fumble. When you hustle on the defensive side, you get rewarded. The hustle by the defensive players, more guys hitting the ball carrier. Boom! That extra hit causes the football to come out. Now, looking at third down. He's looking to the right here on this throw. That catch will keep the drive alive. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. The quarterback's hollering out instructions. Now in rhythm, the quarterback drops back to throw once more. Great coverage there on that pass attempt. Well, the best thing you can say on the offensive side that time is the quarterback got rid of the football. Terrible protection, nowhere to throw it, just throw it away. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. And it's Carlos Dansby who's in on the play. Well, this team is definitely committed to the run. There's no doubt about it. And when you're committed to the running game, Hey, a lot of them are not going to work. That's okay. Stay with it. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Stands in the pocket, and the quarterback is taken down. Outside linebackers who can get to the quarterback, they are a rare breed in the NFL because it takes talent, size, speed, everything to do it as a linebacker, and we saw it that time on display. T.J. Conley getting ready to boot this one away. Yeah. 
going to try his luck right here. This is a big time return. Dolphins ready to take over the football. These DBs will not back off. First and ten. Trying to work that left side. Brought down at the 47-yard line. Quickly to the line. Well, they complete the pass, Jim, but doesn't get the first down. Sooner or later, you got to throw one down the field. Second and two. He'll fire it out to the left. The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. Well, that was a nice job by the offense. It just puts him in a better position. Nice little throw and catch. First down and ten. Looking long. And it's picked off by Cromarty. Right past one player. What a terrible job by the quarterback. Nobody's open. Tries to force the pass and look. What's it turn into an interception? First down coming up. He'll fire. Ball's picked off. That'll stop the play right there. Right, well, I have to say that's just a terrible decision by the quarterback there. He's got to know when you're in a situation like this, you just cannot make that type of pass. A little dime package here for the defense. The defensive line saw something the offense is doing. Look at him, ball shifting to the right. He's got the grab, and he's got the first. Well, this is the defensive line's fault here at this time, Jim. They do not have discipline. They're out of their rush lanes, and look at the passing lane the quarterback has. That's why he gets the completion down the field. These defensive backs are ready for a battle. Tight end in motion. Now first and ten. Scanning the field. Scrambling out of the pocket. No surprise, they immediately call the timeout. Looks like they're in press coverage here. And here we have second down. The defensive line, they're all shifting to the right. I think they're expecting a run over there. And the throw, it's incomplete. Press coverage all the way. The defense at this point trying to keep him out of the end zone. Third down and seven. Looks to his left. The pass is incomplete. There was no one open. You are not going to be an accurate quarterback, of course, when you're under this kind of this kind of pressure. Doesn't even have time to set his feet. Another throw offline. The kick is good. You always want to be rewarded for a nice drive in a football game, even when it's a field goal, because you've made a lot of good plays, you've executed them, you got yourself in position to get some points, and that field goal just reinforces everything. Number 11 on the The offense pinned back in an awful position. They're going to get him here for a sack. That's an excellent job by the defense. Just gets quick penetration in there, hits the quarterback, and gets the sack. That clock keeps moving. What a job by the defense in this situation. The defense got to the quarterback, and the offense is backed up here on second down. Dropping back to throw. So that's a two-point safety for the defense. What a job by the defensive player. Second straight play, he has got a sack. And what do you have to do on the offensive side? Change it up. Use your running back. Help out the offensive line. It's apparent they cannot block this guy one-on-one. -on -one. Well, they're ducking that time. The kick return could do. Terrible blocking up front. Nobody gets their job done. And that's why they have bad field position. Something we've seen from the safety before. Ready to pounce on the snap. First and ten. The quarterback throws the pass, and that 
ball is nearly picked off, but he dropped it. That incompletion by the quarterback, hey, I give the quarterback no fault. That was just tremendous coverage by the secondary player. He's in position and able to uh, make the football be incomplete. He drops back to throw, trying to find an open man. And the offense will call a timeout. The corners are going to meet the receivers right on the line of scrimmage. Oh, look at that. The defensive line shifted over to the left. They feed the running back. They deck him in the backfield. They call for the timeout to stop the clock. They're set to punt it away now. McKnight will return the punt. That's the end of the first half.